check it. Working in Ableton Live today with the Slate Raven and the Raven 4.0 software, which means, yes, we're using Ableton with a console and gestures and batch commands and like all the things, dude. It's so exciting. So like, let's get into it, shall we? Um, I've got a couple of things to do this track before it's ready to go. And uh, we're just gonna bump into here and we're gonna do those real quick. So the first thing we're going to go in and use gestures to just set our loop thing and get it playing just this part that we want to hear. We could use our, you know, our tools on the toolbar and stuff, but like gestures are a little more fun. You got all that stuff down here. It's, it's accessible like multiple ways because slate just don't play around. But so now we can go back to our console. The first thing I'm interested in here is the drums, right? So. I was thinking that the drums were hitting just a little wee bit too hard. I know, did you really say that? So our drums are coming from the DMX, the Oberheim DMX drum machine plugin. Now, notice that we just select our channel, it changes our plugins. Like, how cool is that? And so this is the DMX from uh, the Oberheim plugin. It's a great classic drum machine. What we're doing to it on this channel is we're uh, notching a little bit of the bottom end energy out because it's kind of boomy. Like, I'll show you. You know, like, whoa, that's really. So we don't want to pull it all out, but we'll pull it out like right about there. Should be good. And so we're also doing uh, the Overstayer, one of my favorite plugins. This is uh, coming to us from SoftTube, but this is a Jeff Terzero thing, and they're just amazing. I put them on everything. It's like off and on. It's just so beautiful. I don't live without them. So uh, from there, we've got a virtual mix rack. We're doing a little bit of drum pusher off. So you can see what's happening there. Uh, now let's put it together with the things. It's got some bass from the mini Moog next to me over here. Then we've got little OPX, some strings, little Mellotron, and that rounds it out. It's getting there. We've got multi-touch faders, so we can just mix like we're meant to mix. Perfect. So now I've got a little bit of cleanup to do on a vocal section over here. So we can use three finger drag to zoom out. See where we need to be, we want to be over here. Let's reset our loop region to like that. And again, two finger gesture on the screen and a rotate left gives us a new loop region. So there we go. Uh, I want to edit the ends off of these vocal chunks here because they're kind of, uh, they're a bit messy. So let's unsolo all the things that we just soloed. So we can hear the song. And so I'll just simply zoom in. We'll zoom in a little further. Uh, I can click and drag and then do a three finger rotate left to delete some things. Nice, it's gone just like that. We'll do that in all these little spots while we listen to this song. I mean, really, it's, it's kind of fun. And just like that, we're ready to go, right? So, uh, whew, we got all the things happening right in front of us, thanks to Raven 4.0. We haven't touched a mouse. Um, what more could you ask for? I don't really know. Get your Raven. Cheers. Rock your day.